huge changes have been added to chapter 4 that will change Fortnite forever. It seems Chrome has officially made its way to our chapter 4 island. In the Winterfest trailer, players spotted in the background what seems to be some kind of Chrome umbrella in the Cragshaw cabin. You probably didn't even see this online because literally nobody's talking about the Chrome umbrella with the pools of Chrome that can literally be seen in the Winterfest trailer. This is officially the first sight of Chrome actually being in chapter 4. But hold on a minute. No, it's not. Players have also reported seeing in the loading screen in chapter 4. The tip in the bottom right hand side saying it's not just a shiny cone of paint. Splash Chrome on your right and it will start to heal itself. Literally the same tips that were in our chapter 3 islands during the Chrome season are actually already on our chapter 4 loading screen and in our chapter 4 trailers. Uh, Epic, this is one too many Chrome references for me. Are these references to the Chrome? An accidental mistake by Epic Games and they're not really meant to indicate that Chrome is back in the game. Or is this Epic Games' way of telling us the players that Chrome is not yet defeated? It made an appearance in the chapter 3 event in which the Herald's tree was covered in Chrome. This was in the event and this location was dragged to our chapter 4 island. So there was Chrome in the chapter 4 event, there was Chrome in the Winterfest trailer, and there's Chrome in the chapter 4 lobby. I'm starting to think this may not have been a mistake. No, sir. Well, if we talk about Chrome, we have to talk about the Herald. And she's moving. Oh, yes, did you guys know? The Herald is actually alive in our Fortnite game. You're the such in winters. <laughs> Sorry. The Herald is actually alive in our Fortnite game. When players actually stand close to the Herald tree, they can actually hear the sounds of breathing, which is an official <laughs> sound effect that is actually in the game's files. This ain't no joke. The Herald tree, Death Breath, is the name of the file that everybody can hear in game, which confirms that the Herald, if she's breathing, is probably still alive, but trapped inside the tree. If this Herald tree is actually alive, if the sounds of its breathing and the fact that it's seems to be moving. These things conclude the Herald might not actually be dead inside the tree. And the giant chunk missing from the back could be the Herald spirit somehow escaping. So good. Oh, me! That all these secret references about the Chrome returning to our chapter 4 game. Could it actually mean that they are 100% deliberate? The Herald is breathing. She's alive. And Chrome is in the Winterfest trailer. Chrome is being hinted at in our loading screen. And of course, Chrome is in the chapter 4 final event. <laughs> Did you see me take out that last guy? It was literally my last bullet. Literally my last one. Crazy. Yo, dude, you can actually hear the sound of the creaking as well. I actually love this location in our Fortnite game. The mystery of if the Herald is really coming back to our Fortnite game seems to be almost confirmed. Especially when you take into account a new outfit. An alternative outfit of the Herald seems to be discovered in the game's file. A little while ago, Epic Games accidentally released a whole host of concept skins that have now been officially released in Fortnite. An outstanding skin was this one right here, which players believe belongs to the Herald. Yes, this version of the Herald is different. It's an alternative skin, but it shares many of the similar features that the original Heralds did. We can see around her head a similar flower shape can be seen, as well as around her arms and even her legs. There are many similarities in the face as well, which is leading players to believe that this alternative skin for the Herald is coming to our Fortnite game. Keep in mind, most of the concepts that Epic Games accidentally leaked have actually come to Fortnite so far. Like, literally almost all of them have either been hinted at coming or have actually been officially released, which is pretty good evidence to suggest that the Herald is going to return, but she's gonna look slightly different. Just a side note, I can also help but notice the amber gem that was on this version of the Herald. This amber gem actually has a bug trapped inside the stone. And I thought to myself this could be a reference to the fact that the Herald is currently trapped in a wood tree structure. I don't know if this similarity actually makes a lot of sense, but it does to me. Well, this could just be a something or nothing kind of thing. Just a theory about what these amber stones could mean. Is the Herald returning to a Fortnite game? Is Chrome making its comeback? Well, if you ask me, it looks like it already has. Chrome is back in chapter 4. Fortnite's next live event may have already been uncovered. This season's final event is based around this rift gate. A rift gate is being built in our Fortnite game, which seems to be slowly being built up throughout this season. A Fortnite content creator online has actually managed to put the pieces of this rift gate together and has managed to uncover what it will look like. Much like the blueprints, a giant circle that seems to be opening up a rift into another dimension has been created using the exact pieces that are in-game and in the files 
because this player has brought it all together to reveal this season's final event. At this moment in time in game, we are nowhere near the completion of this rift gate. But the blueprints are here. They're literally in game. And they match perfectly with this rift gate that this player has built online. We, the players, will be able to activate this rift gate in game and possibly travel to another dimension in Fortnite. Or maybe instead of us, the players going inside the rift gates during the event, maybe something is coming through. Oh, hey, bro. Oh, this is the new mythic, huh? This is gonna be bad, huh? What? Are you kidding me? What just happened? The rift gate is being built on top of a castle tower outside the citadel, which makes players believe that the boss, the Ageless, is the one building this secret gate. There is belief online that the Ageless boss is actually Gino in a younger form who's been sent from a different dimension to rule over the citadel while his older version of himself is traveling around the different realities, taking control of everything. If this is a young version of Gino and he is set to rule all over the citadel, then maybe he's building a rift gate to try and bring the original Gino to our Fortnite game. Gino is the leader of the imagined order, and he's also the most powerful person in all the realities of our Fortnite world. So, hey, if this guy's coming back, it's gotta be a pretty big deal, huh? But for now, we're pretty far away from the end of the season's final events and the arrival of this uh, ultimate power destroying, galaxy overwhelming Gino. By the way, I'm Mr. Beast. You can probably tell from the logo that's on my. Okay, you can't tell. I've got a logo on my back, it's Mr. Beast. Yeah, there it is. I'm Mr. Beast. Garbage. Actual garbage. Hey, if I'm Mr. Beast, that guy is Mr. Trash. Oh, but that mythic though. Yo, I want that mythic so bad. Whatever that guy did, that's what I want. Bro, give me one of those mythics, please. Why does nobody have it? I need a Winterfest miracle. Yo. Dodging winters! Holy yo, I didn't even know this was in the game, dog. Look at this! <laughs> oh, no way this works right. Yo, no way! No way! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Okay, now the getaway plan is this gonna work? I got it, I got it! Yes! Yes, we got it! We got the mythic and the hammer! We're out of here! Now it's time to test this amazing new mythic in our forward slides. Oh, it's so cringe, bro. This man actually followed me halfway across the map just so he could get the mythic straight off of me. If you compare my epic attempt to get hold of the mythic and then compare it to his, you would understand why I'm mad. Yo, hold on a minute. This is pretty dope. Yo, look how cool this is. Yo! Yo, that may have been like one of the best top five anime moments in Fortnite history. Yo, that was sick. Shame I don't get to do it, huh? Shame that I can't have that kind of fun in the game. I hate this person.